this example, we're going to find uh, the average rate of change for this function g of x on the interval from 3 to 5. Um, where most people get confused is this interval notation. Uh, when you're reading this, this is all on the x-axis for all the numbers between 3 and 5. But we're really only interested in um, the two endpoints. So I'm going to call the first one x sub 1, and I'm going to call the other one x sub 2. These are the endpoints of the interval that we're looking for. Um, the uh, formula, I hate saying it because average rate of change is the same thing as slope, but there is a formula for it, is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. All right, so in this case, we're dealing with a function g, so some people get confused between, you know, the formula has f's, the function has g's, so let's just convert it over and include our endpoints uh, 5 and 3, and we'll put 5 into the first slot and uh, 3 into the second slot. So this becomes g evaluated at 5 minus g evaluated at 3, and then what's nice about the bottom, if you write it in this fashion, is this is just going to become 5 minus 3. Alright, so the only thing we need to find is this g of 5 and this g of 3, and then we can plug the answers into here. So a little side work. Uh, let's go over here. g of 5 is going to equal the square root of um, basically 5 squared minus 5. Uh, 5 squared is 25. That'll bring it down to 20. So g of 5 is going to equal uh, 2 squared to 5. I want to practice your simplification of square root of 20. Um, and g of 3 is going to give us the square root of 3 squared minus 5. 3 squared being 9. 9 minus 5 is uh, 4, so the square root of 4 is just going to be 2. So g of 3 is just equal to 2. And then we can come back over here and substitute it in. Let's see, uh, g of 5 is equal to 2 square root of 5. Uh, minus 2 all over uh, 3 minus 5, or I'm sorry, 5 minus 3 is 2. So under simplification, we're going to get square root of 5 minus 1. They're all divisible by 2. And if you want, you can you know get this into your calculator. Uh, square root of uh, 5 is really close to square root of 4, so this is like 2 point something uh, minus 1, so it'll be like 1.3 or something like that. Um, but this is a perfectly fine answer for the average rate of change.